As you can see, we're about to pull up to the Tesla Delivery Center here in Tampa and pick up my baby. And hopefully this process is pretty seamless. Two seconds later. From there, this guy's like following me like it's yeah, like it's Batman like, or something, dude. Look, like at him, look, look at him, look at him. Look at him. Calm down, bro. The same Let me guy. see. I Let me see if I can park talking. somewhere. Look at him. Yeah, it's the same guy. Good, thank you. Sorry, we just don't no, I, I came here last week with the Cybertruck. The staff was more than accommodating. They let me record. I'm a YouTuber. And then when I came for the Cybertruck, they said, no, it's fine. You can record. People record their cars all the time. I'm not recording anybody's faces. It's for me, for my YouTube video. Yes, but you were pointing at all my deliveries where customers are there. Sir, I'm the general so, manager. If you keep recording, I'll ask you to leave the premises. Well, I'm here to pick up a car. Yes, sir, but you cannot record when we're there, sir. That's all I'm asking. So you, I can't record in there. Correct. We have but I can record out there. here. No, sir. We have other customers. When customers are around, we don't allow recording. Okay. I'm not going to record any customers. If you want to stay on the premises, sir, please don't record. Well, I'm here to pick up my car that I pay for, so I'm going to get my right. car regardless. You can't. Well, we don't have to sell it to you, sir. Right? Well, I pay for it already. We will refund it if that's what you like. No, I want my car. Yes. Please, please. I, this makes no sense, man. I was just here for the Cybertruck delivery. And they I did a whole YouTube it. video. They said, hey, it's fine. I didn't record anybody's face. Nobody's face is in it. Nobody's car is in it. It was just a Cybertruck. Really? I didn't record any, anybody's names or anything. You're asking for today's delivery. Yes. I'm telling you that your car will be next to everyone else's cars and their names are on it. I'm not going to record. I'm, and I'm telling you, and I respect that. I'm not going to record anybody's personal information because I get it. I don't want my personal information on the internet. I'm not going to record anybody's name. I know you guys put Do the, the, the name. That? That's yeah. That's why we ask nobody to record. Hypothetically, if there's no cars parked next to my car, when I take delivery of my car, I, you're saying I'm not allowed to record my car and show up the features. Employees will be in and out. Customers will be in and out of the area. I can't prevent that environment. Yeah. So the way we prevent is we ask not to record. So that's all. Okay. What's going on everyone and welcome back to the Ghouls Gaming and Tech channel. I had to do the intro over because he did not let me record for whatever reason. I don't know why I told him I was just there uh, a couple weeks ago for the Cybertruck. You guys saw the video. If I'm trying to record like normal. I've recorded that would have been my third delivery day recording on my channel. But he was like, no, we don't allow recording here. I'm like, dude, I was just here. I recorded. I'm a YouTuber. I recorded a couple weeks ago to Cybertruck. The staff was more than accommodating. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get anybody's name in the video anybody's stuff none of that license plate none of that just let me do my thing if i record my car only he's like no no i'm i'm the general manager and we're, we could ask you to leave the premises i'm like yeah the hell you are I'm, I'm picking up my car i pay for my car i'm picking it up he's like oh we would gladly refund you i'm like yeah right bro i pay for this car i'm picking up my car you're not gonna just turn a customer away just because they want to record their own car and then refund them. You know how much of, of a, a hassle of a headache that would be and paperwork for you to, I didn't say this part, but I was thinking it. But you know how much of a hassle of paperwork that would be for you to refund a customer on the day of delivery because they wanted to record their own delivery day? And I know, I don't, I haven't talked to Elon, but I know for a fact, Elon, if, if I asked him, he's like, bro, let them record their car. They already paid for it. It's their car. Like, let them record them picking up their car. We want people to be excited about picking up their Tesla. I'm pretty sure that's what Elon would say. I'm not going to lie. I had about three videos planned when I first arrived, and he kind of ruined my day because it took, literally, it took all the enjoyment out of my delivery experience. I was so kind of in my feelings a little bit because I had things that I had to check off my checklist when it comes to delivery, but I kind of felt like the process was rushed because he's like, hey, don't record. And then he tried to do the whole passive aggressive thing after, I don't know, after he talked to the staff and it was like, yeah, he was here, you know, a couple weeks ago. He recorded a cyber truck. He shouted us out saying our customer service was great. Then he tried to be all fake nice to me and I did not appreciate that. Like, bro, keep the same energy. If you don't, li if you don't like me recording, you don't want me to be there, you're quick to refund me then let that be what it is. Don't try to change the energy and it's like, oh yeah, that's a great color, man. Like, oh man, you got a sweet ride. Oh man, oh, it looks so great. Oh, what do you need? Do you need? He tried to flip the whole script and was like, yeah, I'll help you with anything you need after the fact. So I didn't really appreciate that much, but hey, it is what it is. He was following me like Batman around the parking lot as soon as I pulled up. That guy came swooping in like, I'm Batman. 
Like, bro, back up off me, man. He literally followed me around in the parking lot until I parked. And it's like, oh, we can't risk you recording our the other people's stuff. I'm like, bro, bruv, bruv. But outside of him, the process was very smooth. So I say all that to say, I'm, uh, let me get off my tangent. I say all that to say, we're going to have to do our delivery day kind of uh, first impressions at a different location off site, unfortunately. It's gonna be the same thing. I still haven't done too much to the car and kind of sunk it in. So we're gonna park really quick and we're gonna take a nice little peruse around the car. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's definitely appreciated. And if you're new or returning, make sure to hit that like button. It's the best way that I and YouTube knows you guys enjoy this kind of content. Uh, if you are ordering a new Tesla, hopefully you have a better delivery experience than me. But if you are ordering a new Tesla and you want some free stuff, free credits, uh, free supercharging miles, roof racks, power walls, all that good stuff, make sure to use my Tesla referral code down in the description below. And I will also pin the comment so you can get free stuff. You and I, we both win. You get free stuff, I get free stuff, and we keep on cruising this thing we call life. So yeah. All right, you guys. So we're on the outside of the car and we have to talk about this ultra red color. Oh my gosh, I wasn't getting any color besides this. They did have a new stealth gray. Uh, it looked nice, but I was thinking it would kind of be a little bit uh, too bland for me. And red's my favorite color. This ultra red, it's like a candy. It's like a deep, deep candy apple red, which I really appreciate. So now the wheels, I mean, these Photon wheels, 18 inch. I do like this uh, aero wheel cap better than the previous ones. The previous ones was a little too light of a gray. I'm actually gonna take these off for the first time on video uh, just to see the rim underneath. So let's see, same process should be. Just pull on it and you should feel it unclamping. So, that is the wheel underneath the uh, aero wheel cover. Again, new design, kind of like a spider web like, but I do like that design. I will probably keep these on here all the time because I want to keep my fuel efficiency as high as possible with this car. So new front design, I mean, what can I say? It's so streamlined and sharp. It kind of reminds me the front of like a snake, like the snake eyes with the new headlights. They're a lot more sharp and less bubbly. And then just getting rid of the fog lights at the bottom it makes for, uh, again, more of a streamlined and sporty kind of stealth look. All right, so last but not least are these new tail lights. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but it's more of a sharp angle. It kind of jets right across the uh, back of the top of the trunk. And it also is one piece. So it goes up with the trunk now instead of it being two different pieces. This is nice. So this is uh, me actually having time to kind of take in what this car is, I mean, for one, my first impression of the inside, definitely with the black now, it seems like a lot more spacious than my uh, 2021 Model 3 Standard Range Plus. It seems like they refined the uh, side wall of the door with this suede material here. I do like the black interior a lot more than the white one. It just seems more sleek to me and more sporty so I can accomplish the look I'm trying to accomplish. So this still works pretty much the same or not pretty much exactly the same. You can do pin to start. Uh, this is all redesigned. It's well, I won't say all redesigned, basically the same concept, but it's supposed to be a clearer, better image. The bezels, as you can see all around, you might can't tell from this view, but they are slimmer than the previous iteration of the Model 3. Now I will do a comparison video of the 2021 Model 3 when it did get refreshed to this newer version of the refresh, just so you can see the difference. Now, as you can see right here, you have the slide to reverse drive, press to park, press to uh, go in neutral. So if you wanna go in neutral, you just tap this right here, or I guess hold it. And then to park, you just tap that right there. And I will do also a tips and tricks and special features video as well. So if you want to see that as well, make sure to check it out. Um, but just to drive, you just go forward like that. And then to reverse, you just swipe backwards and you will go in your reverse. Yo, I can't express how excited I am to finally get this car. I know my delivery didn't go the way I really wanted it to, but damn, look at, look at the this is it's like a cocoon it wraps you in here this lighting that goes all the way around is just so freaking nice you can change the color to whatever you want now it has i guess these are called accent lights you can have it on auto so if you put it on auto they're going to like dim 
in the dark or in the daytime and when you press drive or go and drive as you can see the light goes away but if you turn it on it will always be on i'm probably going to be driving during the day as most people during the day most of the time so i don't want to miss out on seeing these lights so i'm going to leave mine on for the purpose of my fulfillment one thing that is really cool when you switch from one tesla to another your driver profile settings on your previous car they merged to this one. How freaking cool is that? All you do is go on your app. Your app is pretty much your lifeline with this bad boy. It'll ask you on here if you want to link your account. Yes, I do want to link my account. Once you link your account, you will have to adjust your steering wheel and seat preferences. But primarily outside of that, everything else will link up. This soft touch material all around, to me, I like it. I feel like it's very... Um, I'm pretty sure that has something to do with the sound because this car is a certain percentage quieter than the previous version. And I'm assuming that has a lot to do with all of these soft touch materials in the car. This like foam, it's like a, um, if you've ever seen a studio and you see they have like, it looks like foam on the walls. That's that's like what this material looks like and feels like. Look at that. I'm getting too hype. Hold on, let me calm down. Let me calm down. I'm getting too hype. So obviously you have your normal uh, lights up here, but uh, next to your hazard button, you have your drive and reverse controls, all that good stuff. There are no stocks. I'm not gonna lie. It's taken some getting used to. Well, from a guy who primarily used the yoke steering wheel on my previous Tesla, I was already used to a little bit less. I don't mind the stockless steering wheel. But is it a learning curve? A hundred percent is definitely a learning curve. If you guys are getting this car and you're worried about how your body or how your muscle memory is going to respond to the uh, stockless steering wheel, it's going to take a little minute because I constantly find myself trying to toggle here to make a left and right turn. For some reason, my brain assumes that the arrow indicator to go left should be on the top and the right uh, indicator to go right should be on the bottom uh, light displays right here so if you want them on you just hold and once you release they go away it does have a haptic kind of feeling to it the scroll wheel still works the same you got your volume up and down obviously this controls your steering wheel as well so if you want to adjust your steering wheel settings so now let's move across the steering wheel we have this tesla uh, badging right here the letters actually spelled out but yeah on the right side you have this little circle icon right here if you click that it brings up all of your cameras this will make you go into uh, autopilot and also will set your speed limit you have your windshield wiper button right here uh, and then your microphone so these are the new perforated seats super big fan of these you don't understand how important this is for me to get air in my bottom while I'm driving in this hot Florida heat. This is a game changer for me. This is probably one of my favorite features of this new version of the car. All right, so the last thing we're gonna touch on in the cabin is this new rear display. Um, you do have heated seats in the back. On both sides, you have your music here that you can kind of shuffle through. You have other media controls here like Netflix, Hulu, YouTube. You can log into this stuff. I was recording this at the same delivery center, and then now they say, oh, you can't record, I'm Batman. So it does go up to 4K, that is nice. You also have some arcade games back here. Again, this makes sense. If you have some little ones, they can play some games. I don't know if they're savvy enough to play some chess on here, but you can, you know, you can play some chess while you're back here. Are you gonna move, bro? Yeah, there you go. So yeah play a little bit of little bit of chess all right you guys so overall my impression of the car i'm more than amazed i love this thing this is like my ideal car for the moment but no i'm gonna have this car for a while and i want to be comfortable and confident in the car that i'm gonna be driving from the color to the intangibles from the inside the features the new upgrades that this car has over its predecessor i feel like there's nothing more i could want i mean i wish my delivery process was better i'm pretty sure you guys might have a better delivery experience than i did i want to be batman every day but overall the process was smooth i did everything prior to me getting there now there's nothing left for me to do except Except, uh, have fun and uh, test this 0 to 60 in 4.1 or 4.2 seconds I believe it was so 
Let's take a ride really quick. All right, so safety first, obviously. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Whew. Make it good. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was crazy. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so fun to try. That'll get, that'll get the blood pumping. That'll wake you up in the morning. You don't need coffee. You just need a zero to 60 in a Tesla. That will wake you up, guaranteed. 